Uh, good day everybody. Please excuse the trembling in the voice or the lower of the voice. Um, I've had a really bad weekend, but hey, don't we all? Uh, today I wanted to show off, well not show off, but show some humidors or tobacco or places to place tobacco. Um, I've got six pieces here that I wanted to show. So we'll start off with this piece here. This is the most recent piece that I brought. Um, not, as you can see the bulldog on the front. Uh, the, what I liked about this was it's the first humidor that I found, excuse me, that has the top part to hold the pipe. And back in the days when people, uh, tobacco was expensive just like I suppose it's becoming more expensive in today's world people would store their tobacco and to make it moist and keep it moist they would add a sponge as you can see here this sponge is very old gone dry and that sponge would be wet so they would create a wet sponge uh, rinse it out so it didn't drop on the tobacco and then they would leave that on top of the pot and that would keep the tobacco moist. The second piece is this silver plated. It does need the clean, but then most of my collection does at the moment. Uh, this piece is quite deceptive in, you go to pull up the pieces like that and nothing happens. It took me a while to realize that you have to actually turn the knobs on these uh, to get the piece undone so I believe that in where the dog sits here a sponge would, would have been placed and the, back, the tobacco goes there and as you can see there there's a little grid so the moisture would have come through there and kept the tobacco moist Um, all of these pieces are quite expensive online these days. Uh, when I started 10 years ago, and they were a couple of hundred pounds, but since then, like most things, they've, they've risen in price. Okay, so this next piece, this is a silver and bronze, and it's by a famous sculptor or bronze artist, if I can just get that. So I spent my time believing that the person that made this made Heinz Beans, which is a famous bean company in England. But it's a totally different Heinz, and I believe that the person that made this sterling on bronze uh, was American. And he also pa patented this uh, silver on bronze effect. So... Um, they are quite sought after and you see them in quite a lot of period dramas They're normally in the kitchen on the side or in the parlor Let me move on to this This piece here and um, some people may think it looks a bit ugly. Others may find it endearing He's got his lovely glass eyes made from uh, dark dark woods train most probably or black forest and the tobacco would have gone in there, but there is no. Um, I think this would have just been a tobacco or cigar holder because there is no place to put a sponge. Then we have this piece here. Um, I love the glass on this, but I believe it's Victorian. And it has a beautiful deco on the top. Again, most of my pieces need to be cleaned with a silver cloth. And I think I'll be doing that after Christmas. So as you can see, it's been tempered out to get the shape on the other side. Some bits you'll find that are actually solid. So they've tempered it and then uh, covered it over. But this this piece doesn't look like it, it's done that. And maybe that's where the sponge would have been kept. 
on that hook there. And then the last piece is this little piece here. I believe this might have been for a lady's desk because it is smaller. And it doesn't hold so much. And um, I don't think smoking was popular with women. I think it was more of a man's um, pastime. But I'm pretty sure some ladies did smoke. So they're my humidors. I uh, have a couple more, but they're not as fancy as these ones. Uh, this one over here would be the most expensive at the moment because of the designer. Uh, this piece here has shot up in price. So he he would have been around a hundred pounds when I bought him, but he's now on some online websites for a thousand pound. So again, I'm quite lucky when I bought my pieces and um, a lot of them can be sold for up to 900% uh, profit, which is nuts really, but that's the way things have gone. And um, before I finish, I'd just like to say uh, smoking is a killer and uh, these are just for display purposes. None of them are used for tobacco, so... Uh, my advice is please do not start smoking. Uh, it's just a waste of money and you end your life quicker. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed these and I hope to be back doing my little chats uh, properly again very soon. Thank you. Peace.